This is Middle Class Matt at don'tbuythehype.blogspot.com, and I am the sports genius. At Don't Buy the Hype, one of the things we pride ourselves in is that we're not just doing, we are the average middle class sports fan who sits in his armchair and, you know, makes judgments um, and makes uh, predictions of games. And we do it better than the analysts. But we do do real journalism, too. We pride ourselves in that. And one of my favorite things to do, and one of the things I'm best at, is... Um, Seeing athletes before they become stars, whether it be in college or um, lower ranks or high school ranks, I do it a lot in basketball. This is the first time I've done it in boxing. Some of the videos, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll actually be able to see the videos if you uh, go look in my videos of the fight that I went to in Charlotte about a month ago and saw um, quite a few fighters. I want to preview or um, to talk about today... Uh, Two fighters that are twins, the Burrell twins, uh, Scotty and Dean. Dean O is actually how you spell his name with an O at the end of it, but he pronounces it Dean. You can hear it in the interview, um, which if you're watching this on YouTube, will be, um, you scroll through my videos, you'll find the twin, the Burrell twins interview. And if you're watching this on the blog, on my blog, it is on, um, it is on the same page. You're going to see it. Um, so I'm not going to go over too much about them because um, I did a lot in the interview. But these are two exciting young fighters. They're 23 years old. Uh, what's cool about them is they're identical twins. Or they seem to be identical. They may not be, but they look just alike. And um, one is Southpaw, Dean. And Scotty is, uh, is traditional. Um, which I think is really cool. Basically, they're mirror images of each other. Well, you can actually see the footage of Scotty knocking his opponent down um, and ending the fight with a TKO. Um, on YouTube or on the blog, you'll be able to see the video down below. Um, and a dramatic knockdown. Now, they, both these guys claim to be boxers, um, but I saw first-round knockouts out of both of them that night. Now, I didn't catch D Dean's uh, knockout, and it's kind of a story behind that. I almost didn't want to say it because it sounded unprofessional, but what happened is I went out to tape it, and one of the fight promoters came over and started talking to me about some business and so I thought it was important to talk to him about um, some fights in the future and different things like that and just within a few seconds Dean had already knocked his opponent out I mean just he fell face forward I mean knocked him out now after that fight both of these fighters both uh, the, the Burrell twins are five and one I see a lot of potential in twins I think it's very marketable they seem to be good fighters like I said, they claim to be boxers, but they were willing to brawl. They knocked out their opponents in the first round. They seem to have pretty good skill. Um, they do have a loss um, early in their career, but that usually doesn't hurt. Um, Manny Pacquiao lost several fights in the beginning of his career before he really got things together. Like I said, they're 5-1. and one. Uh, And then, like I said, they're twins. So I think ESPN should like scoop these guys up. For them to do an undercard of a major, of, of not a major fight on ESPN or such a thing, but for like you know the headliner and then them do the undercard, and have them each fight a different person. They will not fight each other. They say that in the interview. They look click like the Klitschko's. They won't fight each other. They say, we'll fight each other for free. We'll spar. But we're not going to fight each other for money. So I'd like to see that. And then the sky's the limit after that. Because like I said, twins, extremely, extremely marketable. Um, and they have great personalities. They're from um, England. And they fight out of New York, so they're like, you know, from New York, you know, give them some street credit. They're from England, sort of a blue-collar place. A lot of the English fighters are from there. I always find that cool when they have that sort of uh, blue-collar English accent. And uh, they talk about even, you know, getting in street fights. I tried to get him, get him to call out um, uh, Broner, Adrian Broner, uh, who is 130 and they're 135. And uh, they wouldn't do it. Uh, but Broner's had a lot more experience than them. They probably won't fight them ever, or at least not for a long time. Um, he's 23 and 0. But I was going to see if they would call call him out because uh, he's probably the best around their weight division. But anyway, I just see these guys, the sky being the limit. They uh, have a lot of potential. Um, they're very marketable. I wouldn't be surprised to see them on TV soon. So be sure to check out the footage. Um, that I have on my blog and then also the videos of them on YouTube and this is middle class Matt, and I'll see you next time